Isn't he so cute? I have to get better lines. That's all I say about them. They're so cute. Bonnie. Isn't he so cute? I have to get better lines. That's all I say about them. They're so cute. Yeah. I asked Ollie if he wanted to hold Lilac. He said, I'm not used to holding her yet. <laughs> Is he not all skittish on you? Uh, he, when I went to get him, he jumped to the back like fast. Yeah. But he's okay now. This is the first morning in probably the last week. Yeah, the last week that it is not raining. Um, we got the rabbits. We had a good several days, and then it just started raining like crazy. We've honestly just been locked inside for the last two weeks. And then the pollen alert is crazy. So Everett is not able to come outside, but for like maybe 30 minutes at a time. I'll show you this. Got this app, this pollen alert app thing. It's big today. After I got the backyard in some sort of order, it just started raining like crazy. I'm actually taking a lot of our worm poop and putting it into my worm bins, which I keep in the garage, but I left it out one night and it started raining like crazy, so. They've been sitting out here. And all my gloves are really soaked. It was a bad, bad day for me and not taking care of tools and stuff. And then also during that crazy week of rain, Rex flipped out. I thought that he would want like a home, a little box with some hay in it. And this is what he did. Yeah, I put the So it's a Sunday morning, and last night we had our first like big rain since we've had the bunnies. And I went out and I gave Rex a box. I don't think he liked it. The camera's definitely gonna get wet. You're gonna get wet. Rex, buddy, are you in there? Oh, you are in there. Well, now that you're in there, what do I do? You seem really stressed out. So I don't know if you like it or not. Yeah, basically this is all he's been doing. You do not appear to be happy. So I'm gonna take it up. I'm sorry. I hope you don't get wet. So you see Rex, he's all like jacked up and mad about life. Then you see the babies. And they're just eating because they're so fat. They're a bunch of, I'm gonna start calling y'all piglet. This guy, Blue, he never stops eating. Lilac, she's, She's a little bit more dainty. She'll eat a little bit less. But look at them. Hey, Blue, you want some food? You fatty. But anyway, that was hilarious. I 
I think you're right. Now we're gonna go get some sticky greens. Jeannie, if you're on this, um, let us know down in the comments, what are they called? I don't know what this weed is called, but you said that the rabbits love it, and we actually found it here at our house. So it's these things. And we call them the sticky greens. Well, Look. because watch this. <laughs> huh. yeah. Hey, it kind of stuck. You put it Wait, on. where'd you put it? Welcome to Houston. In the morning, it's cold, and then in the afternoon, it's so hot. It's hot. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this bin that I put all the rabbit poop in. I could have just put it in a thing, but I didn't have these bins ready, so that's why I did it. Putting that into my worm bin over here. So the awesome thing, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted some rabbits, was because of their poop. So yes, this is kind of gross, but this is just rabbit poop in there. Those little, those little pebbles that you can see. See? That rabbit poop. So you can correct me if I'm wrong that rabbit poop is both a bedding for vermicomposting and it's food. So the worms just absolutely love rabbit poop. They, it's, it, it's a home for them and they eat their home. So basically that's what I'm doing with the, all the extra poop. I put a lot in my garden already, but with this I can be able just to make some worm poop and give away some vermicompost. Something you really can't do with rabbit poop. Somebody might just want to take rabbit poop, <laughs> like me. I've done that in the past. But everybody would love vermicompost for their garden. It just smells awesome and rich and earthy. Um, and it doesn't smell like poop. Oops. This bin is one that got way too wet because I left it out in the rain. So. Down in there, got a little too wet. There's worms in there, they're still good. It's just kind of mushy and yucky, but that's all right, they'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. There's still a lot of worms in there. And over here, there's a lot of worms and stuff. But all these worms are after I have already harvested um, the other day. Now I'm just gonna take the rest of the rabbit poop and just pour it in, along with some straw, I guess. There's a lot of poop in here. <laughs> a lot of people do this, and I did it in the beginning, is actually go and check on your worm bins and actually spray them down with water, make sure that it's uh, wet enough. Sometimes I do that in the summer, but what I like to do is to use fruit like an apple. So worms get a lot of their moisture just by drinking it through their skin, and uh, a good thing is an apple because an apple, unlike a banana, banana just, the moisture just comes all out of it whenever as it rots and decomposes, but an apple will actually get a little bit of that crust on the top, but it, it'll keep a lot of moisture inside of it. So it's kind of like by just burying some apples in the bin, it's kind of like just burying 
jugs of water for them. Totally forgot that the last time we had watermelon, I took kept all the rinds and froze them. So that's a, another great way to be able to store moisture in your worm bins. A lot of people say that you can blend them up, do all that. I don't ever do that. That's just a waste of time. It probably gets a little bit better compost faster because they'll break it, be able to break it down faster, but I ain't nobody got time for that. And in hot climates like here in Texas, it actually helps to cool it down because it won't let it overheat. It's good weather right now in March, but in the summer, this is a really great idea. Because it's the same concept that I've heard in, like with rabbits, is with rabbits you can put frozen water bottles in their cages so that they can get all cozy in it and help themselves cool down. That's the exact same concept of just putting some frozen fruit in your worm bin during hot summers. It's how I keep, I've kept up to three worm bins in my garage in the middle of summer. And production goes a little bit down. They, they don't lay as many eggs, but still, they, they still survive. Suburbia, it's too loud. <laughs> 